Welcome back to Spice and Easy. Right, we are doing today one of our packs. We're doing Bombay potatoes. Potato. Yeah, Bombay potatoes, but we're not. <laughs> Here we go again. Right, we're doing Bombay potatoes, but I'm gonna show you how to turn Bombay potatoes into Alu Gobi. Yeah. Potatoes and cauliflower. You use the same pack. So if you don't want to do alu gobi, you just want Bombay potatoes, then use the quantities that I'll tell you for your potatoes. If you want to make alu gobi, use the quantities that I tell you for your potatoes. Plus the quantity that I tell you for your golly. Yeah, Bombay potatoes. We're turning it into alu gobi. The same with the Bombay potatoes. We do put on the instructions. If you like, you want to be posh, sag alu, sag alu, I call it, it's sag, sag alu. I'm from Leicester, no English, I say things as I see it, it's sag alu, not sag, it's not bath or grass either, it's bath and grass. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about, don't you, if you're in Leicester, or Leicestershire, yeah, you'll back me up there. Right, Bombay potatoes. Really nice. On the instructions, put your spinach in, you've got sagalo. You can add cauliflower, what we're going to do, and you've got alu gobi. Or, if you just want, you just have bombay potatoes. You can get all three out of the one pack. Can't fault that, can you? Right, let's get on. Let's do it. Bombay potatoes, but it's not. Alu gobi, it is. The spice and easy way. Catch you in a mo. You know it makes sense. Right then, here we go. Bombay potatoes. But it's not. It's Alu Gobi. So, oh, a bit of peel in there, look. What do I always get a little bit of onion peel right so here we go instructions reading down your instructions i should say for what you actually need spice pack one and two yes you get two packs for this one is that value for money or what and don't forget if you ain't got a spice pack you've not got a curry or alu gobi or bombay potatoes in this situation or sagaloo or sagaloo if you want to be posh one medium onion. Did you notice something? I didn't say medium stroke large. Mmm. So, get your tape measure out and measure it and look up what size a medium onion should be because that's all you need. One medium onion, finely chopped. 60 mils of cooking oil. Yeah, Fiona's going to love me on this one because I am using the oil, not the spray. I'm never going to hear the last of it tonight. Where are you putting all that oil in for? But it's still not a lot, come on. The reason I'm using the oil and not the spray, you will see when we use pack number one. Hence, you need the oil for that one. But you'll see what I mean. One pound of potatoes. Potatoes! No, we ain't. We've got here eight ounces of potatoes and eight ounces of collie. Why? Because we're doing aloo gobi. Now, if you just want to do Bombay potatoes, you use a pound of potatoes, parboiled as you can see, I think you can see they're still steaming look. Hot, hot, hot. Parboiled so that they're not going to take ages to cook. Ooh, that one doesn't look too good, does it? Um, I'll make sure Fiona gets that one. Um, so, parboil them. If not, you're cooking it for too long and because there's not a lot of spice in this one, then the spices will burn because all the liquid will go down because you basically parboiled those so they're near enough cooked by the time everything's combined it steams in its own steam if you get what i mean with the lid on for a short while and then it's done so you need to parboil these uh the potatoes and the cauliflower if you're doing alu gobi if not a pound of potatoes cubed parboiled if you're adding spinach because you want good old sagaloo um then you just add your spinach towards the end, stick the lid on. You know yourself, spinach doesn't take long. It steams while the lid's on. Mix it up, job done. 
And that's it. Optional extras. Have we even got, look, even in there. There it is, look, it's falling again. I'm trying to do it through the camera. Why does onion peel get everywhere? Right, optional extras. Coriander. Roughly chop this time for this. If you don't like coriander again, leave it out. Do you know what's not going in here? Chilies. And why is that? Because I forgot to get some. And I'm not going back over now. So what I did, the pack I'm actually using, I, I sneaked in a little bit of extra chilli powder in there just to make it hotter. But it is nice with fresh chilies as well. Really, really nice. And that's all you need. One, two, three, four. If you're having that, if not, three ingredients in your spice pack, one and two. Job done. How easy is that? Hmm, very easy. Right, let's get on and let's start the cooking. Right, here we go. Spice packs one and two. Now the reason I'm using the oil is you need to get the oil hot and then going down your instructions. Heat the oil over a medium heat, add spice pack one, seeds, seeds, and fry until the mustard seeds start to pop. Do not burn. So they go in, the oil's hot, they're gonna start popping very, very soon. As soon as you the mustard seed pop, it starts to release the flavour. Let's just get that camera a bit better. There we go. That's a bit better. See how they're sizzling now. You're going to hear them start popping in a minute. Don't forget, as soon as they start to pop, you move on to your next stage. Otherwise, you're going to burn them. Then you'll have the bitter taste coming through. Smell amazing when the mustard seeds start to pop. Such a nice smell. Spoony! Easy, here, look. Can you hear that? Pop, pop. It's not popcorn. Mustard seeds. They're starting to pop now, so add your onions. Now, as soon as I've added the onions, what I do is turn the heat down slightly because you don't want the onions starting to burn as well. They're sizzling away nice now. Turn that down, and there we go. Let's get these onions. Right, this is going to take now a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to pause. So a little pause, a little pause for thought, but no thoughts come into my head. Doom. So it was a blank. And then again, my brain's normally a blank. Now, so onions done. Add spice pack two. Spice pack two is that. Where is it? Where's the camera there? That's your spices for me enough. In goes that. Give it a quick stir. Mix everything up. Add splashes of water stirring well until a paste is formed. I'm sure you know what that means by now, but we're going to show you anyway. Let's turn it up a bit now, shall we? Get the heat on. Song in there as well, isn't there? Who sang that? Heat is on. I oh, can't remember. It... Some with Palmer? I can't remember now. I don't know. The only reason I recognise the song is I'm pretty sure it was in one of the Die Hard films. One of the best trilogies of all time, Die Hard. And I agree with the... Um, uh, controversial view that's the word I'm after Die Hard, one of the best Christmas movies of all time and yes it is a Christmas movie Christmas is on it, it's featured over Christmas, it's a Christmas movie you try telling me it's not alright these splashes of water, you're not going to need a lot in this you can see that I've used the oil not the spray but you really do need that oil because if you use the spray you're going to have a job to get the mustard seeds to start popping um, and then you're going to end up burning everything so for this one do use the 60 mils of oil oh, it's 
That was amazing. Right, I hope this don't come over the camera because I'm going to put the extract on. Just to get rid of some of that and so all the neighbours can smell that we're cooking. And they'll all want some. Although, having said that, I think the only one that's pretty close to us is Deb Richards, I believe her second name, Deb. She's in the Facebook group. She's hooked on the things now. I've tried them, didn't even know we were down the road from her. Um, so I dropped them round and she's hooked on them. That is your paste done, look. And you can see the glaze. Look, you see it? The glaze. That's what you're after. So, next step, add parboiled potatoes. We're not. We're adding parboiled potatoes and parboiled cauliflower. Can't say that with our pitch voice. So, add those. In they go, in they go. It does make quite a bit of this, because don't forget, nine times out of ten, you're going to be having this as a side dish. So, you'll get should get four four as a side dish you can have it as a main if you want it's really nice if you do this and uh, quickly saute another big word for today some paneer no paneer in here but there is if you put some in um, and then add that to it as well and you can have it as a vegetarian main dish it's really nice then you do aloo gobi and spinach does that make it an aloo sad can be paneer <laughs> I don't know but put the spinach and the paneer in as well and it's really nice as a main so stir it until everything's well covered which is that add a quarter of a pint of water which guess what I've not got hang on yeah as I was saying add 142 mils if you don't know what it is in mils so, quarter of a pint of water, which you add. Now more sizzling now, I'll turn that off now. And that is it. I'll turn it up now. Cover pan and simmer. These are your instructions. Check frequently and stir carefully because when these start to cook fully, if you start whacking it in and be heavy handed you're going to break all the potatoes up so carefully just put your spoon in every now and again and just move it around check that there's nothing starting to stick on the bottom because you've not got a lot of liquid in here for the spices so you just need to keep stirring it occasionally to make sure everything stays nicely covered and all the spices don't stick on the bottom of the pan if it does dry out too much just add a, a few splashes of water so that's that done. What we do now is we put the lid on and we simmer it. I will tell you, oh, tell me that's not, no it's not, it's onion. I thought that was the skin off an onion then. I was going to do me nut again. Um, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to season it with salt first and then I'll be back and I'll tell you how long it took for this water to vanish because it is a dry dish this, it's a side dish um, and everything to be cooked and We'll dish it up. So, I'm going. Spoonie's going. He's going to have a quick break before I stick him in the hot pan again. And we'll give you all the details. Catch you in a mo. Right. That has been simmering for bang on half an hour. Let's try just to see. Oh, yeah, nicely cooked. Look at that. Buds, lovely. Cauliflower's cooked, that cooks quicker anyway. What we're going to do, if you're not adding this, then you won't be adding it. That's the coriander. Just give that a quick stir. Stir some of that in. As you can see, the juice, the water has more or less gone. I don't want it. I don't want the steam going on the camera for a start. Um, let's put that extractor on. I don't want it too dry. Um, you should get rid of all of this more or less but if you just take the lid off slightly uh, on a low heat that will go but I just wanted a bit of juice in there I'm now gonna 
As usual, splat it everywhere. Ooh, we ain't yet. No, we still ain't yet. We still ain't yet. Oh, 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 we're doing well here. No cleaning up. It's even better. There we go. Let's have a look at that. Look at that. Alu Gobi. Done. I am going to have a little taste of that. Because you have to, don't you? you got to try a little bit. And a bit of collie as well. It's all fell off. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> Not spice wise, it's just come out of the pan. Taste wise, oh, that's nice. That is nice. We're having this later with a bit of rice and a new quick and easy recipe which I'm going to be filming in a bit. I'm not going to say much about it, you'll have to watch the video. But I do recommend you try this because it is very, very nice. Mm. I could just sit down with a bowl of that, a bit of really good quality naan breads, or again if you want to be posh, naan breads, it's naan breads, and that'll do me. Maybe, it is spicy, but maybe a little bit of that um, mahi scorpion chilli sauce that we did a review on, that'd be really nice. Put a couple of drops of that in as well, and away you go. Who needs meat? Really, really nice. So, that's that one done. See you in a minute. There we go. Bombay potatoes. But it wasn't. It was aloo gobi. So, as I said, use just the potatoes, a pound of them, you'll get Bombay potatoes. Add your coriander in if you want the coriander. It does make a difference. Just a bit. When I was setting this camera up, it's bit into a cumin seed. It's no better taste to me than when you're chewing on your food and you bite into a cumin seed and you get that burst of cumin flavour. Oh, I love it. Um, so, yeah, that'll be your Bombay potatoes, cauliflower. Do half and half on your potatoes, your cauliflower for aloo gobi. If you want, sag, um, sag aloo. Yes, sag, not sag, sag, aloo. Then do everything it tells you on here. And then when you get to the stage where it says cover your pan and simmer, put your spinach in then, simmer it, and it will just be done nicely when you mix it in. And there's your sag, sag, aloo. Um, and as I said on the video, if you are vegetarian, you want something different for a vegetarian main dish, cook it all up, do your cauliflower in it, Put your spinach in it, saute some cubes of paneer, add that to it at the end, mix it all up, and you've got a really, really nice main vegetarian dish. Um, so try that one. Additives in this one. Herbs, spices, mustard. Bear that in mind if you've got an allergy to mustard. Obviously, you've got mustard seeds that you're frying at the start, so avoid this. You could... If you wanted, miss that out and just cook these. But if you're going to do that, what I would do is you've got a mustard allergy, you can still have Bombay potatoes. Instead of doing this with the two packs, uh, just get the medium or the mild curry pack that we sell and use that. Make it into the paste as it tells you. Then add your parboiled potatoes. Then add 150 odd mils of water. Mix it up. Put your pan on. Carry on cooking for half an hour um, and you'll have mustard free Bombay potatoes. So you can get around it, you can still have your Bombay potatoes even if you've got allergies because in the mild and the medium packs we do, it's just herbs and spices in there. There's nothing to affect you for allergy wise, unless you've got an allergy to cumin and coriander and all the other Indian spices, of course. I don't know. I bet somebody has got that. There seems to be an allergy for everything nowadays, don't there? Um, so that's it, Bombay potatoes done. The spice and easy way, and it was really easy. It's quite spicy now, I've added chilli as well. 
and quick. I mean, once everything was done, you put the lid on, you simmer it for half an hour, and it's job done. Really, really nice. Try it. Let us know what you think. That's another one done. We're signing off. Before I sign off, you are going to notice there's going to be two or three videos, if not more. Don't sit there and say, oh, he's got the same T-shirt on again. How many days is that? These videos are all going to be recorded over a short amount of time, probably all today, because we are going away for three or four days. So I'm recording them and scheduling them for upload. And I'm not going to keep swapping my T-shirts and my shirts around. So, no, I'm not a grab. It's just that I'm recording a lot on one day. Be told. That's it. Spice and Easy signing off. We'll catch you later. Bye for now.